Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Starting with this video, we are going to present a series of people who have achieved the impossible and inspired many others. And in this video, we are going to start with Kes Valdez. Kes was born in the Philippines. When he was three, he lived as a scavenger, spending his days combing through a huge dump site in Cavite for scraps of metal or glass. He was forced to beg for money for his father and survive on food he found among the litter. His family called him bad luck. They even tried to sell him. Yet, with his work, he was the youngest person and the first Filipino ever to win the Children's International Peace Prize. Let's have a look together. At four, Kes ran away from his parents and slept in graveyards or doorways. One day, he was pushed into a towering fire of trash, scorching one side of his body. It was both the most painful and the most hopeful day of his life. That day, he met Harnin Manalese, the man who dressed his wounds and went on to become Kes' guardian. This was the first time he'd been shown love. Together with Harnin, Kes formed Championing Community Children, C3 for short, an organization dedicated to educating street children with hygiene and providing them with packages called Gifts of Hope containing toys, toothbrushes, slippers, and school supplies. The group expanded rapidly, attracting hundreds of volunteers and helping more and more children in the slums, dumps, and shanty towns of Manila. For his work with C3, Kes won the Children's International Peace Prize becoming the youngest person and the first Filipino ever to win. The award came with $100,000 of prize money. Kes has donated it to causes he believes in and injected it into his own organization. As of 2019, 12 years have passed since C3 was first established and they've helped more than 38,000 street kids. Kes himself has treated almost 3,000 wounds. To the street children of the Philippines, Kes says, do not lose hope. To those more fortunate children with homes and family, he says, one is never too young to do something to help and meet a need.